Alright guys, I'm making this video because there continues to be a major, major issue going on in this country, and that is how photographers are being treated like terrorists. Recently, a couple of elevator enthusiasts who are similar to me to have that the hobby, who like to film elevators, were busted at some places in Orlando, Florida, and they were either reported to security or at least I think a Simon Mall, they were busted by security. And this, I know of Simon Malls, they've had their strict photography policy, which is of course ridiculous, although I heard that's changed, but it doesn't mean they've all gotten used to it. And even outside of these malls, Photographers are getting harassed left and right. Whether they're an elevator filmer or they're doing or they're filming or taking still pictures of something else or whatever. It's like ever since 9-11, oh, this guy's taking a picture or a video. Oh, they were terrorists. Oh, let's Stop the, tell them they can't do this, or even worse, let's harass them. Just despicable how they get treated, or how we get treated, I should say, because I'm a photographer myself. And it's not solving the problem that these paranoid addicts think it is. You want to stop terrorism? Go hunt down terrorists. Go send them to prisons like Guantanamo Bay, which the president has tried to close since his first day in office and is still trying to do it in his last year. So places like that are trying to be shut down, but law-abiding citizens are being treated like Paris just because of taking a picture or a video. One example of this occurred in a Dwayne Reed in New York where an elevator filmer was filming an elevator and it opened up and the manager saw it, rushed right across, kept the elevator door from closing and treated the guy like he had a bomb instead of filming. And I mean I know New York got a lot of paranoid people because of it being where the majority of 9-11 happened. But photography didn't cause this. So why are they attacking photography? It just doesn't make sense. If you want to ask why someone's taking a picture of filming, that's fine. But just telling them they can't do it because you don't know it. And there's no shame that you don't know it, but just telling them they can't do it because it's unusual or even worse yet, harassing them, it's inexcusable. It's communism. That is not America, and speaking of which, I don't know entirely the story if it's totally true or it's just commercial, but if you think New York is acting anti-American, try LA. The rumor I've heard is that they will not allow people to film. I don't know if it's entirely true or if it's just commercial. I tried Googling it, I only heard about commercials filming, but make, given the way that this country's been headed, it's far from a surprise if nobody's allowed to film without permission. Is This is not America. This is a total 180 from America. This is communism. This doesn't protect the country from terrorism. It bows down to it. In fact, it's in a way, it's even terrorist-friendly between the attack of photography and the idea that terrorists are being allowed to r run free it's just hey if we want America we have got to rebel against this crap we've got to make sure that photography is allowed to be free and that any real terrorist gets brought to justice If not, then the terrorists win, 
and we end up becoming a communist country. I don't want that, and I know those of you who are smart don't want it either. So, this photography harassment and this paranoia must stop.